either way. And especially you old Negroes, man. You, yeah. You, you, you coons and old niggas, man. Civil rights, y'all. Y'all, you old civil rights ass uh, coons, man. It seems like the younger, the younger Jakes is actually starting to, uh, uh, they, that third eye and woke up on the younger Jakes, man. Yep. You old niggas, y'all need to just sit your asses down, man. Yep. And you got the one, y'all the main ones that's trying to uh, uh, get in, uh, in the minds of the younger Jakes and tell them, no, this ain't the way you're supposed to do it. Let's just sit back and obey Massa. Let's stop calling each other niggas. You know, let's, let's stop, you know, being black. Yep. And, 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 and doing what Jake do. Right. And, and let's obey our, our, our oppressor, man. That's yep. what they tell you. That's what they, them old coons is telling you, young Jakes, man. And that's what Jake. Oh, Al Sharpton and shit. Yep. And, 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 and uh, I saw a video where this, uh, this, 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 uh, this nigga woman, you know, this black woman, she was on there and she was actually flashing on, uh, Obama and, and uh, Al Sharpton. She was like, you, you, you know, you, fuck you, Obama, fuck you, Al Sharpton. You don't speak for us. You don't speak for the, for the black yep. community. Yep. We tired of this shit. Where the fuck y'all at? Yep. Hey. Y'all ain't setting this shit right. They start, Jake is starting to see that you, 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 uh, you so-called leaders and you old niggas, y'all don't represent us, man. Yeah. You don't. You don't represent uh, Jake, man. You represent the society. Right, they already know that you paid and you, you, you bought and paid for already, man. There's nothing that you can do. All you gonna do is just come back and try to sue and, and, and pacify their mind and put them back to sleep, man. Yeah. And that's, and that's why these devils keep them, them coons paid just so they can uh, satisfy you so-called Negroes, man. But you Negroes, hey, man, what, like, what the scriptures say? Who gonna rouse them up? Yeah. You know? The most high, the spirit of the, the, spirit of the yeah. Lord is rousing these, these young lines up, man. And let me say, it's about the young lines, right? These young, these young jakes out there, man, they, they're starting to recognize, like, what did the civil rights movement do? Because right. this is the exact shit that, that was going on back then. Are right. you still telling us to be peaceful? Right. To turn the other cheek? Right. You ain't got nowhere. Uh, we got freedom. We ain't free. As you see. Young Jakes can, can recognize that we're not free. Not only are we not free, they're trying to put us back on the chain. Yep. Okay, we let them off the chain a little while. They can leave. They couldn't leave the, the plantation, but they off the chain a little while. Yep. But now it's like they trying to put us back on the chain. Yep. And these young Jakes are starting to wake up and see it. Yep. Hey, like, one Jake cussed him out, like, uh, Al Sharpton, he, he, you know, he get on uh, Caucasian uh, News Network yeah. and, and yeah. had them coons on there talking and acting like they representation of, of Jake. Sean, trying, trying to speak like they speak of Jake, right. that's exactly what and, and basically what, what, they, what these niggas are saying is, well, before you even uh, play, place blame on the so-called white man, you need to look at yourselves. Quit black on black crime. Uh, quit sagging your pants. Quit calling each other niggas and hoes. Okay, yeah, that's that's all. That's all, true. That's true. But why are you using that to deflect from the situation? Now you forgetting that Dr. Uh, uh, King, that motherfucker got Merck with a suit on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you telling thing. Jake to stop being uh, black, but you forgetting that Dr. Coon was he was he was put to death in a fucking suit. Yeah. He was the one that was telling you to, to march hand in hand with this devil, man. Saying the same thing you saying. Saying the same shit you saying. And wearing the same things you telling us to wear. Right. To look the same way you telling us to look. Well, we were better. Well, what we did that do for him? Yeah. That, that's exactly why Jake do the dumb shit they do. That's why Jake said they, they don't know they don't know exactly what they doing spiritually. Right. But they just trying to do something different from what y'all simple niggas did from back in them 60s. Yep. They ain't just gonna conform with it. Now there were some men that stood up back in that time for, for the right thing. You know, that tried to do sit downs and peaceful marches and so on and so forth. But most of y'all just, after they came, the white man came with the hammer, they y'all sat down and laid down. And that's what you niggas is trying to get us to do. That's that's why they keep putting your simple ass, man, I hate that old shark and little. Little, uh, little scarecrow. Uh, 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 what's little your name? Crow. Star Jones looking ass, yeah. man. Big ass head because you used to be fat. Right. You living too good. Now now you got the money to life go down or whatever you have done. But either way, ain't nobody trying to listen to you, man. Ain't nobody listening to your simple ass. You trying to tell us to lay down let the white man keep beating us on the back. Sure. Yeah. 
I would like to read this again. I'll bring it back to uh, the other person. I can so, uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor, and thou seest the Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor, and violent, perverting of judgment and justice in a pro province, marvel not at the matter. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. You know? So the Most High, he regards, he sees what's going on, man. And the Lord said, hey, get out, hey, you too close. That we, we, you, that's our property, and we trying to get you filming ourselves, you too close. What verse is that? Huh? Come on, man. Just go get drunk, man. Fuck hey, yeah. Shut up. You know, I fucking hey. fuck yeah. I'm trying to stir up, you know, trying to uh, disrupt the spirit. Let me go back to uh, 2nd Ezra 6 and 19. And we'll begin to make inquisition or examine, right? Examine, yeah. On, of them, would, would they be that have hurt unjustly? Did that cop uh, hurt that uh, Jake unjustly? Yeah. With their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled, yeah. you know, and that that's why that's the Lord right, spoke of a time called Jacob's trouble, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is the time period where you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives are going to catch hell in America, man, and across the world. White people are fucking die, this man. is a time period the where you're going to be catching right. hell, man. All type of chaos. The most high, the, the so-called white man was created for destruction, man. So he's he's moving upon you so-called Negroes because he only has a short time to rule. Right. You know? I guess the world all the time, man. I read the book every fucking That's day. why he's giving the okay for these different uh, officers all throughout the country to uh, to draw down on you niggas, man. man right. You fucking know what the fuck you is know? You know what the fuck is And, and, it's, and, it's, and like the brother said, it's... it's it's even to the point where it's about uh, uh, class level and not just about, not solely about skin color anymore. Yep. Now, giving the law to the, yep. giving the law to the other law, no, it's not the power level. The Verse law twenty. To, the, the law and when the law. world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened yep. before the firmament, and they shall the, all they shall see all together. I, I will give you these signs of what the end time is when this iniquity shall be near its end and when and when uh, the time of Jacob's trouble should be coming to fruition and then what does it say right after that? After it says uh... Con. Then will I show these tokens the books shall be open before the firmament The scriptures are now open before the whole world in the end of heavens for you to be able to see and understand with your eyes, ears and mind And they shall see all together they should all be able to see. And because a lot of hey, a hey, lot hey, of Jakes, hey, a hey. lot of Jakes are starting to uh, see it, and they know that the men of the Lord been out here yep. warning them, telling them out of the scriptures yep. that what's going on right now. We've been saying it out of the scriptures, man. That's and right. you're starting to see it for yourself. We've been talk, talking about that the the Lord is going to stir up race riots. That, that there's going to be martial law in the no, streets. There's gonna that there's going to be pestilences. We've been saying that. The men of the Lord have been out there for years and constantly trying to drain it into your hey, minds, guys, man. I love you guys. And you work. Negroes been asleep right, for a long time. Now, all of a sudden, a lot of you niggas is dropping dead by the hands of these devils. And now you want to spark, start the little ruckus. Yeah. You know? But now y'all starting to see, and we got books in our hands, and we reading out what's going on, man. This ain't just a random book, though. This ain't, this ain't the autobiography of Malcolm X or nothing like that. Yep. This is the Holy Bible. That's right. 1611 King James Version. Yep. That's what we're, we're not just about a regular man on the earth wrote this book. Yep. It was written by men on the earth, but it was given by divine uh, interpretation from the Most High God That's to right. write these things down thousands of years ago that are coming to pass today. That's right. That's right. Well, so this is... This is that time, man, where Jake is starting to wake up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? A lot of Jakes that even, you know, they, they watch, now they want to start watching the videos of, of brothers speaking about this type of things, man. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if another wave of Jakes wake up to this yeah. because of that shit, man. Exactly. That, that's, what's, that's what's supposed to happen. You know? The next wave is supposed to come in right now. Cause it ain't all sealed, it ain't all sealed up. Nope. And the more and more shit escalates, the more the more and more gonna come in and wake up to this. Right. This is uh, Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse one. 
he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Hold that, hold that. Get uh, Romans 13, is it 13? Okay. Uh, time we gotta sleep. Read that and we gonna go and we gotta get okay. Because both of these scriptures are gonna go hand in hand. You'll see how it works out. But, but, just read it. Yeah, it's best to just read it. Romans 13 and 11. Huh? And that knowing the time, that now is the how high do, time. How do you know the time? Because you measured the time diligently. Because you've seen part of the signs past. That's how you know you know the time. By these prophecies that's coming to pass, like World War III, martial law, going on in different cities in America, that's going to spread to the whole uh, northern continent of America. Uh, pestilences with the Ebola and everything, like the scriptures are telling you. That's how you know. When you see half of these signs, up wars of the people and, and, and earthquakes in diverse places, the time of Jacob's trouble, all these things are prophecies that are now starting to come to pass. That's how you know uh, what time it is. Now, I'll start the time again for you. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now is, is it high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Time for you to wake up so your eyes, your ears, and your mind is now able to see and recognize what's really going on in the real world, in reality. That you get out of, get out of uh, Lil Wayne's ass and then all this music and all them, them, them other uh, famous superstars or whatever, and you start coming into righteousness and start, start understanding this word. For now is our salvation nearer than we when we believe. Now, for those that are to obtain salvation, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, even for the two-thirds. You're not going to get saved by the Lord, but you're going to be saved because you're going to come back out of uh, out of uh, captivity and come back into, uh, into the kingdom of heaven. You're going to be born into that time. So you after this life, you ain't got to deal with it no more. So you do, that's talking about the two thirds. You ain't gonna have to deal with, uh, with, with with being in captivity again. So the salvation is, is a changing over of power from these devils that have, have you captive into and, and giving it to your hand under the rulership of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. But the elect is gonna be in that that transition period though. Read that part one more time. I think the verse after that. The night is for spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness uh -huh. and let us put on the armor of light. Let's stop doing all this nigga shit. Let's stop eating all this bad food, all this pork, and all this, uh, all this, all this bad stuff that we do, catfish and shellfish and whatever else. So our minds can be in fluoride and so on and so forth. So our minds can be opened up to the spirit of righteousness. So our pineal glands can be, uh, 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 not, not, What's the opposite of uh, calcifying or crystallized? Calcifying. Yeah, but it's another word. So it can be palpable, not palpable, but basically soft tissue. It can absorb those, those spiritual things that are supposed to be given to it. Namely in eugenics. That's what we're talking about to eugenics. That's how you're going to wake up. That's why the night is far spent and the day now is. Because it's transformed from this dark period where we have no knowledge and no, and no uh, understanding of anything to the time of light where the light is starting to be shed upon the earth and to the time where that light is shed so much upon the earth that it's now a new handed rulership. Because the white man can't, he can't, he can't give the light to the earth. He calls his darkness or his rulership light, but that ain't the real light. The real light is, is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures. Go back to uh, Back in 2nd Ezra 9 and uh, 1. It's a lot. Verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yep. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, yep. then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those Ferguson things. Ferguson is an uproar. What's going on in Missouri, that's another uproar. We're not, that's in America. That's not just an uproar over in Greece or in, in, uh, in Syria, nowhere like that. That's here in America. Yeah. And it's a righteous reason, as they usually are. That's a righteous reason for them to uprise. Yeah. Because Jacob, it's not about Michael Brown. That's just the, uh, the, the, uh, the example. 
that they're using to make a stand at. Certain Jake is trying to make a stand now, like, look, if you'll shoot Michael Brown, you'll shoot any one of us. And, 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 and that's exactly what you're saying. You say, oh, we wouldn't do that. That's what you try to put out there. But the truth, he, he deserved it. He was a thief. He was this, he was that. He was going against the American way. But the truth of it is, part of that American way is to kill Jake. That, that's, that, that's this white man's favorite pastime is killing off Jake yep. and finding ways to destroy Jake. Yep. And that's why a lot of niggas is, you know what I'm saying, like not even just in Ferguson. Yep. You got, you got uh, uh, niggas in Oakland turning up. You got dudes in D.C., yep. New York. So supposedly L.A. is supposed to be, you know, organizing or something or whatever. Yeah. whatever. I don't know what that is. They, usually L.A. is known for really turning up, but yep. hey, because... In the wake of the whole Michael Brown situation, there was three other Jakes that got put to death by the hands of uh, a, a, a so-called cop. You know, but that kind of went under the radar because of the the, the the light that's being shed on the Michael Brown situation. You know, in the media, these devils they know what they're doing by push by by putting this out, man. They're trying to stir up uh, uh, war chaos because they want to get control and put you niggas under subjection. Yep. That's why they want to uh, bring the military or, or, or bring the police force that is being militarized just so they can control you. They, they put a curfew in Ferguson. You can't leave the house after 12. Yep. You know? That's martial law. It is martial law. In a nutshell, because yeah. if you come out, they are gonna use lethal force on you. They already shooting peaceful protesters with, uh, with, with uh, rubber bullets tear gas, yep. smoke grenades, yep. you know? And they even got a uh, 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 footage of an actual provocateur throwing Molotov uh, bombs at the, at, the, at the police, and they ain't doing anything about it. They're not doing nothing towards the, uh, the provocateurs, but they aiming for the peaceful protesters. Yep. So that lets you know right then and there that they, they up to something. Yep. You know, because they want to shut society down and, and, and put you Negroes in, in, uh, in captivity, man. They want to put you in the concentration camps. And it's fucked up because that's, that's, that's for half you white people, too. Yep. You try to get you, too, under that under that, uh, that technology. Yep. On, on that same slavery chain. Yep. So you seeing, the scriptures tell you you're going to see it, man. And we seeing it before our eyes, man. That's right. Uproar is all over the country now. Then you already uh, got uh, Ukraine. You already got uh, Gaza. Yep. Hey, Gaza even seeing what's going on over here, man. And yep. they getting bombed on. Yeah. They talking about we we seeing we 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 stand with you people, uh, which y'all going through over there in Ferguson. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they over there getting bombed, man. Yeah. By them by them devils, them them, them kites over there. Yeah. That's exactly what it is too. You know? Hey, because the world is starting to wake up. All these other nations, whether it's Jake or these other brown nations, because everybody's brown, but, but the so-called white man or Edomites, yep. right? Because that, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about Edomites. And so everybody's starting to wake up to you Edomites, man. You're trying to see, trying to, yeah, the, the skirt is being lifted to see exactly what you're all about. And when you lift that skirt, man, it's all types of perverseness going on up under there. This white man is, is showing his true self to the world right now, and the world is getting tired of it. And they're like, well, we didn't came up to a level to fuck that. The bully didn't bully everybody for all these hundreds of years. It's time for us to fight back. That's right. And that's what them Jakes is doing, and that's what uh, these other nations is doing. Yeah. Even the Medes is trying to raise up on them. Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. I, and made, him, I made him naked. I've uncovered a secret place that I can show you exactly what this so-called white man is really all about. He's a fucking pedophile, a, a homosexual at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? He's a murderer. He's a murderer. He's a thief. He's a thief. He pillages. He's a, he's, he's a son of destruction. He's a bold-faced liar. He, he's a true...